or what? I watched you guys run the hill a couple weeks ago, yeah. and I gotta say that's the first time I've ever seen somebody do something like that, keeping their shirt tucked in the entire time. Do you think uh, you're trying to set an example to your teammates by s staying so snappily dressed at all times? Um, uh, it's something I started with one of my friends in high school. I tried to bring it here, me and Brett called keeping it classy, and it's just one of those things that some days I do it, some days I don't, but um, you know what? When you're an adult, sometimes you gotta do that kind of stuff. Well, you know, when I saw it, the first thing I thought of was that looking at your profile on the official website, your favorite food uh, is plain vanilla ice cream. Uh, does that kind of fit right in line with that philosophy? Um, a lot of people would say that. I'm, I don't like crazy things a lot of times, and sometimes it's the simple things that really just keep you happy. Um, you know, I followed you a lot through high school, and uh, even last year, that people didn't see you all that much on the court last year. But you look bigger, muscular, but physically, you look like you've trimmed down, toned up a little bit. Uh, can you tell me about what you did in the offseason, conditioning wise? Um, you know, we all come in and work hard all, all summer, all preseason, after last season, and we just, you know, we got to make sure we do what we need to get our bodies ready. But I think it was one of those things where the training and just my body kind of came into an agreement that something good would happen finally and you know I've always been able to carry a lot of weight through high school and everything but finally I think it's it's becoming more useful. In the uh, press conference with coach a few minutes ago uh, he talked about the uh, the uh, importance of footwork yeah. and the development throughout and he pointed you, out you as one of the people who's really come a long way since last year in the area of footwork. Uh, first off are you surprised to hear him actually give you a compliment? Um, no, man. He gives. He always gives credit where credit to do. And are you saying that just because we're on camera right now? No, no, man. He's he's a good guy, and he knows when to give people a compliment. And you know, people won't rest on a compliment, and he knows that. So, as far as the footwork thing goes, it's just you learn after a season what you can and can't get cannot get away with mostly. Um, you know, looking at this upcoming season, you're a sophomore now. You got uh, a year's experience under your belt. Uh, a couple of the other big men are gone. They graduated. Uh, how do you see your role playing out this year? Uh, I'm going to need to help this team out somehow because you know other teams have big guys that either need to be guarded or need to be you know something needs to happen against them in a the game and. You know, size is something you can't really teach, so that's one of the gifts I was given, and, you know, we have a few other guys on this team that hopefully will be able to contribute in, inside and help big guys out. Uh, do you see yourself being more effective this year uh, in the paint or, uh, or on the perimeter or a combination of both? Uh, it's going to have to be a combination in the college game because, you know, you got to take what people give you. So, you know, if, if it's certain games in the paint, certain games more mid-range or on the perimeter, then we're just going to have to take what we can get.